filming an intro after the fact here. I've actually already flown, but in this video, what we're gonna do is we're gonna fly the Gin Carb 16 meter. So this is my gonna be a first impressions video. I've not flown this wing before, um, and I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. Uh, I wasn't planning on filming today, so excuse the gum chewing. I'm gonna try to edit it out. I didn't realize I had a piece of gum in my mouth until the very end. So uh, I'm telling you up front, if you don't like gum chewing, just don't watch this video, but I don't think it'll be too bad. And before we launch, don't forget about the giveaway we're doing right now. We have a free paramotor training giveaway. The guys at Fly PPG Discovered Power Paragliding are sponsored that. The training will take place out of their facility in Quincy, Illinois. All you got to do to enter is go to flyppg.com. Go to their store, scroll to the bottom. There's going to be a TK raffle t-shirt you can buy. Um, t-shirts are 10 bucks plus shipping. Any t-shirt you buy gets you three entries into the raffle to win paramotor training. If you're a pilot, and you win the training, you can um, gift that training to someone else and be their best friend ever because they get to fly. Um, coolest part about that is you don't need your own gear. You can just show up and fly. They will give you all the gear you need to, to train and uh, train without your own gear. So basically you just have to get yourself there and you are flying. So um, yeah, let's get in the air. See you guys up there, peace. All right, it's gonna be the first flight in the gin carve. I'm not planning on making a video today but we'll see what happens. If I do make a video, shout out to Matt Minyard. Thanks for letting me try this out. It's a weird trimmer system. Top of the orange, I guess. Here we go. I felt like I had a tailwind. <laughs> that was weird. I literally, I ran into it. And, um, dude, it just died on me. That's weird. Just didn't want to come up. So, I don't know what to do next time. <laughs> Maybe I had a tailwind. I can't tell. But I'm going to get out of Andy's way. I'm going to launch right here. I definitely feel a tailwind. Watch Andy nail it with the tailwind. Oh yeah, there's no tailwind. I don't know what happened. Go Andy, go. Whoo, he was cooking. Okay, I think he did have a tailwind because I've never seen him run that fast. So that means I'll be launching with a crosswind. <laughs> Clear. this so many times and every time I do it fly over like low clouds like this or fog it just blows my mind so all right guys I really wasn't planning on making a video and I really may not post this but um, yeah we'll just go ahead and talk about this wing so this is a 16 meter gin car for those of you that don't know I am on the hunt for the ultimate two wing combo so I want a quiver of two wings to cover a vast majority of of the flying that I will do, the type of flying I do. So if you guys follow me, you know I do a lot of cross-country flying, but I throw some acro in there, minor acro, you know, barrel rolls, uh, wing overs, things like that. Love to get down low, foot drag. Don't do any sats or anything. I've done only done sats in an SIV course. But that's the kind of flying I do, and that's what I enjoy. So the wings I want are, are gonna be catered to that. So I want I want a wing that I can throw down relatively efficient and uh, it's fast and fun. So that's what I'm trying to find with this wing. I I fly a 15 meter uh, ozone free ride. I own one and I love that wing. I love it. It's I have no complaints about it but I think I would fit a 16 a little bit better. I feel like there's no reason for me to have a 15 over a 16, right? Why, why, it, I can do everything on a 16 that I can do on a 16, or on a 15. And I can get, you know, one square meter more of everything. Lift and 
Well, well, whatever. A little bit slower launch, slower landing. It's it's minute, but it's it's there. So I'm convinced that 50% of my quiver is going to be a 16 meter free ride. However, I'm testing out the gin carb just to make sure that I don't like this one better. I've heard virtually no bad things about this wing from anybody. Um, everyone that's flown one seems to like them. They uh, the comments I've gotten are. Well, first of all, it's gnarly. It's a it's an advanced slalom wing, so that's that's the category that it's in. And secondly, uh, it is a little bit slower than a free ride, maybe a little bit more efficient, um, but I guess just as gnarly. Tucker uh, Gott did a good review on this wing, comparing it to his free ride. So if you want all the ins and outs from someone who really knows what they're talking about, hit him up or look at his video. But. Um, the only bad thing I've heard about it is that it likes to lock into a spiral. Now, I don't know if my wing likes to lock into a spiral because I don't ever do deep spirals on purpose. <laughs> so, I'm not going to be testing that out. And hopefully, I never find out. I mean, I'll do a couple spirals and maybe start feeling it slip in or something, and that'll be enough for me to confirm. I don't have any plans to um, do anything more than that. Andy is a nut. It's my buddy Andy. He's flying really low over some <laughs> gigantic forest and I'm not about to do that. I'm going up. I'll talk to you guys when I get up there. Dude, this thing does get it. Whoa. <laughs> oh yeah. And he's got a new wing here. 24 meter Dudek Solo. Sharp looking wing. Except they sent him the wrong colors, Dudek. Do the right thing, give him a free wing. Airport and we're up high because I had to climb over these trees, so I might try to throw it down just a little bit here on the way down, making sure to stay out of the pattern. But it's getting pretty windy anyway, so I think we're gonna come in and put her down. But I'll tell you what, man, I don't know if it's just I haven't flown in a while or what, but this wing is I mean, it feels really gnarly. I, I don't know if it's gnarlier than a free ride or if it's right on that same level. I just haven't flown in two weeks, you know what I mean? Um, but uh, this wing is for real. So, let me get right over my, my box. I gotta get out over these trees a little bit. 
but yeah, man, this is uh, no joke. Absolutely no joke. Definitely like this wing. Sharp looking too, I love those colors, that black, blue and white, it looks so good. I don't know, it's making my decision hard, man. I was convinced 16 meter free ride, 50% of my two wing combo. And now, oh, I just realized I was chewing gum this whole video. That's gonna piss everybody off. All right, I'll try not to chew while I'm talking anymore. This is what happens when you don't plan on making a video and chew gum through the whole damn thing. Anyway, all right, we're over our box, not over the pattern. Let's see what she does. Wing overs to get started. Go big on the left here. Okay, so there's that. Yeah, it's it's effortless. It really is. It's weight shift and light pressure. That's all you. That's all it is. Get the camera angle pointed a little bit higher so you can see the wing, but dude. Yeah, take this and see if we can point it straight up. Yeah, cool. <laughs> Weak view. Alright, so Yeah, it's 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 that class of wing where you're not actually like pulling brake, it feels like for wing overs. It's like you just pressurize and put a little tension on that brake and weight shift. And they do it the other way with a little tension and weight shift. I mean you can almost wing over with um, like the torque of the motor. Here, we'll go again. This time we'll go weight shift that way. Quick barrel roll. And we'll do one the other way. Oh yeah. Okay, so let's see the spiral thing. Yeah, I'm not gonna try to do a spiral right now. I was thought about going into a spiral just to see if I could feel it try to lock in, but I'm too low for that. Not worth it. Alright. That's a good first flight. I think I am going to fly tomorrow. So, um, I'm satisfied. And there looks to be some nasty shit coming that way. Look at that. I don't know if the GoPro is showing it, but <laughs> that doesn't look nice. Gin carved, man. If you're into the little wing slalom class gliders, I'd be uh, I'd have this one on your list of wings to try for sure, for sure. The way I have the torque compensation set up on my motor, the way it works is you tighten a strap on my left side here on the harness, and it induces a weight shift turn uh, in that direction. And that's that's more or less how a lot of um, paramotor frames do it. They just offset your, your your thrust line essentially, or they induce a weight shift turn a little bit. Um, but the result of that is that I can barrel roll and wing over easier to my left, especially barrel roll when you really need to get that weight shift in there. A barrel roll to the left is easy. A barrel roll to the right, oh shit, Andy, fell on his knees. Barrel roll to the right, I feel a lot of times I can't I can't get that weight shift in all the way. You know what I mean? It feels like I'm I'm really over there and I feel almost a little unstable a barrel roll to the right. So, there's a little feedback on the pluma for you. Not a deal breaker, not a bad thing really, it's just something you gotta be prepared for. All right. So, I don't know what way the wind's going, but I don't know if it was going the way Andy just said it. It looks like it's, looks like it's all over the place, to be honest with you. Somerville traffic. Papa Papa Golf, Tango Kilo. Holy shit, it's windy. On final for a runway, my own. Bumpy, bumpy, my bumpy. Dude, that was a perfect ski. <laughs> Holy shit. I totally thought I was going to eat it. <laughs> and now the wing came down all cattywampus. 
Oh, so landing this wing. Fuck fine. It, it lands quick. That's what I was told, too. It's a little bit of a quick landing, but it's no quicker than my free ride, I don't think. I don't think it is. All right, man. We will catch back up with you guys when I get all this stuff off. And uh, I'll give you my final thoughts and my first impressions on the Jin car of 16 meters. See ya. Okay, guys, so just landed. That was my first flight on the 16-meter uh, gin car. And like I said, I wasn't planning to make a video today, so sorry about the gum. <laughs> but um, thank you to Matt Minyard for sending that wing out for a demo. Um, I might end up buying this wing. I don't know yet. I'm going to fly it again tomorrow morning try to get a better feel for it. But my initial impressions are awesome wing. I have literally zero complaints about it. Um, launched great. Uh, flew awesome. Didn't have any like oscillations or anything like that. Um, and it is gnarly. It is, I mean, you guys know this already. If you know anything about the Gin Carve, it's a slalom style glider, all unsheathed lines. Um, I didn't try to lock it into a spiral or anything like that. I just did wing overs and a couple of um, easy barrel rolls, and it felt awesome. It felt great. Um, definitely a fun wing, and it looks sharp. And now I have a hard decision to make because I thought for sure I wanted a a free ride and now I'm just not sure so that's all I got for you guys today on the wing but remember that we have a giveaway going on right now we're giving away free paramotor training so go to flyppg.com and scroll to the bottom of their store page and there's a, a TK raffle t-shirt and I think they're 10 bucks plus shipping any t-shirt purchase enters you in three times to the raffle so make sure you check that out for your chance to win some free paramotor training don't forget to like subscribe Instagram all that jazz I'll see you guys in the next one peace so I don't know I wonder if I could see it in the do Dude, I was trying to come in here, and at the last second it floated a little bit long, and man, I, I hit this wet grass. I skied forever with these stupid slippery shoes.